can't even pretend that it is the morning because it is currently 4 p.m. on a Sunday afternoon. You might be able to hear rain hammering down on the windows outside, but luckily, it's only just started raining and it has been a really lovely day. Charlie and I have just got back from our friends Rory and Nathan's. We went over for a really lovely brunch and then we took a little walk around a newly reopened hotel called Heathrop Park and we were just being a little bit nosy, wandering around the gardens, wandering around the house. It's got a lot of potential but it's still a little bit old fashioned. Um, but oh my goodness, we stumbled upon their walled, walled garden and there is a dilapidated but incredible ginormous greenhouse and we were wandering around and I couldn't help but thinking that with a little bit of love, a little bit of renovation, it would just be the most magical wedding venue. My imagination was going into absolute overdrive. So really lovely morning. Uh, now I'm going to get on with my usual Sunday tasks. I had the most pampering wonderful shower this morning. You know the one where you exfoliate, you put a deep, deep nourishing hair mask in your hair, you shave your legs, and now I'm gonna do my IPLing because that is very much part of my Sunday pamper routine. Um, as you may know, I use the Kenzie at home IPL. It's a habit that I got into last year. Well, actually 2020, I'm fully converted to doing so many different beauty treatments at home. And Sundays, you know, we just have a little bit more time. So it is the day that I like to devote to those at home beauty treatments. I may even do an at home gel manicure later, especially on days like today. It makes me really just not want to leave my house. That is probably one of my favorite things about doing at home beauty treatments, just the absolute convenience and ease of being able to do them in the comfort of your own home. You can be watching a YouTube video, you can be watching TV. Multitasking is something that I love to do, so that's what I'm going to get on with. Oh my gosh, that rain is so loud. I really hope it's not, not bothering you. So if you are thinking about new habits, new parts of your beauty routine, even ways of saving money within your beauty routine for 2023 then at home IPLing is something that I would most definitely recommend as I mentioned it's something that I have been doing for probably coming on three years now it's something that I really am such a strong advocate for for doing at home not only is it so much more convenient than having to strip down in a random salon it's also saves you so much time I used to I did go through a phase of getting um, IPL done or laser hair removal professionally done when I used to live in London but firstly it is so expensive the cost of getting an at-home IPL device is pretty much the same as two or three London laser hair removal sessions but once you invest in one of these devices at home you've literally got it in your possession and you've got 10 years worth of use from your IPL device at home but also just the fact that you have to make time out of your day to travel somewhere wait in reception then go and get all your clothes off in a beautician's room. It just wasn't an experience that I ever looked forward to. It was something actually that, to be honest, I used to dread. Whereas now at home, I literally watch a YouTube video. I can be either taking my mind off by watching someone's vlog or learning something by listening to a podcast. So now, now that I can multitask, it's something that I do actually really enjoy. So it has very much become part of my Sunday beauty routine. When you first start with your IPL at home hair removal process, it can take around three to four weeks until you start really noticing results. But then I would say after 12 weeks, I was pretty much not having it to shave the areas that I had been IPLing. I would say for me, it was after literally after a couple of weeks, I really started to notice a difference. After maybe two months, I was like, wow, I really don't need to shave anymore. Um, I would maybe do my underarms every couple of weeks but it is it has been an absolute game changer for me big fan and I'm trying to do it on the first Sunday of every month that is the habit that I'm going to try and get into this year so let me tell you a little bit more about the devices this is the original Kenzie device this is the one that I've had for coming up three years now it is the original it's 
teeny tiny, fits in the palm of your hand, comes with an ultra long cable which is very very handy if I want to be doing it on the bed while watching a movie then I absolutely can. And then I have got the new device here as well which has got a very jazzy kind of cooling um, plate on the end here and then this is obviously where the intense pulsed light comes out of. A question that I noticed last time when I spoke about the Kenzie device is um, if you need to wear eye protection. Well, Kenzie actually said that you don't need to wear eye protection when you are zapping. The, the intense pulse light is not going to damage your eyes. And also, it has been very cleverly created, so the if it recognises that this little zapping area is not pressed against the skin, like if it was like this, it's just not going to zap. So you're never going to be sending crazy light into your eyes because it has to be pressed against the skin to um, zap so you don't need to worry about protecting your eyes. As I mentioned my routine in the morning is to have that ultra pampering shower which is just what I love to do on a Sunday morning you know when you've got your hair mask in you give yourself a full body exfoliation a full body shaving because the great thing about using an at-home IPL device is that you actually have to be already cleanly shaven in order to do the zapping, which means that you don't have any downtime. I remember when I was waxing or using um, hair removal cream, which now that I think about it, is literally just slathering a thick layer of chemicals on your skin. I can't believe I ever used to think that was a good idea epilating, let's not even talk about how painful it was, but all of those methods require you to let the hair grow so that there is something for the contraptions or the cream to grab hold of and pluck out. Um, and I just didn't used to like that phase when I had to leave my hair to grow before actually removing it. So I love the fact that you have to be cleanly shaven before using this device, but not don't wax or epilate before doing this because it actually needs that hair to be just underneath the skin in order for the intense pulse light to actually get down to the hair follicle and zap it away. So by exfoliating it means that, you know, you've just got a bare canvas for the IPL to work its magic. Um, and then before I pop on any body lotions, and importantly before I put on any fake tan, I will do my fake tan this evening before bed to be honest, um, and yeah, literally takes me under 10 minutes to do my entire body so super easy for me i don't feel any discomfort any pain but once you turn it on you turn it on by just holding down the green button and then you can see the little lights here you can basically by pressing the green button again turn it up you can go all the way up to level five or six um i tend to go to level four or five and if you hold down the button in the middle, it just glides along. You don't even need to worry about clicking it. You just glide it slowly up and down your legs, on your underarms, wherever, and it'll just keep zapping out the light. And then what you'll find, let's just turn this off for a second. I think now's a really good time to start as well because with the fact that you don't want to be too tanned to use a device, it's a really good idea to start during the cold months. Um, and to be honest, if you start using it now, you will be hair free long before summer. So you don't need to worry about whether you've got freshly shaven legs or <laughs> underarms before summer. So a very good habit to get into. And before I strip down <laughs> to do my IPLing, let me remind you of the epic discount code that Kenzie have given us. I'll leave a direct link in the description box on the Kenzie website, which I'll leave it on the screen and in the description box down below. It is a US website but I believe they deliver globally. So it does come with a 12 month warranty and a 90 day money back guarantee so no stress if it is not right for you but honestly the cl most cliche thing that I always say is that the only thing that I regret <laughs> with my IPL journey is that literally I didn't start it sooner. It's like with laser eye surgery my only regret was that I didn't do it sooner because why wouldn't you want to be hair free in time for summer. So without further ado, I'm gonna find a fun YouTube video to watch. I like to just have something, in, in fact, I'm gonna watch M's pack with me for NYC. Um, I'm gonna leave that on in the background. Ooh, you know, that's not M. <laughs> and get zapping. So I'm essentially... I have become re-addicted to herbal teas as well. This is a pucker, I think it's like a lemongrass and nettle tea. It is absolutely delicious and I will get through, I will literally top up this tea bag about six times throughout the day. So I'm very much getting my money's worth out of these tea bags. 
And after I've done this, I am going to share with you my beauty ball recipe. I shared it on the blog literally like six or seven years ago. It's one of my oldest, but still to this day, most viewed blog posts. I'll pop a little preview on the screen here. They are so delicious. And when I was in London last week, I got the uh, farm girl little beauty bombs and it reminded me how much I love them and I actually took this maybe this is a bit naughty but I actually took a photo <laughs> of the exact ingredients in the farm girl uh, little energy balls and I thought I'm gonna oh what have I done here I actually left my conditioner in my hair too long this morning that is an error that I always make on pamper days uh, yeah so I'm basically gonna copy the ingredients within this, although annoyingly I don't have raw cacao or maca powder. I'm going to add those to my Amazon order. Um, but I do have a lot of other ingredients that I can substitute. They're very easy to make, so that's what I'm going to do after I have done my zapping. Okay, I've slipped into a little summary dress, so it's super easy for me to show you how easy <laughs> this is to do. I'll just quickly show on my underarms. Oh, helps if you actually turn the device on. I'm just gonna hold the button down and then it'll be on the glide function and I don't even need to worry about pressing the button, so. I am an absolute wimp <laughs> when it comes to pain. And as you can tell, I'm not even flinching. It is literally pain-free for me. Some people feel a little sensation, but definitely not painful. Okay, I have just finished zapping and I have only been filming for 9 minutes and 30 seconds, so less than 10 minutes for me to do my entire <laughs> body of zaps. Um, you might have spotted this on the uh, on the poof. This is one of the books that I'll be taking with me to read on holiday. It's Roxy's new book. It's Manifest Dive Deeper. I love to refresh my manifesting at this my manifesting um knowledge at this time of year and i think this will be the perfect read i think she does a little bit of like a refresher and hopefully some more tips on how to well let's see unlock your limitless potential create lasting transformative change and turn your dreams into reality with the much anticipated follow-up to the sunday times bestseller and social media sensation this book takes you deeper into your inner healing journey and expands your understanding of the unique seven steps to manifestation so yes gonna read that on holiday um but i was just watching m's pack with me vlog while I was doing my zapping and let's be honest if I had gone to a professional salon we would still be doing the small talk and me getting undressed in that amount of time so I love the amount of time that this saves me I'm a huge fan um so yes if you've got any questions whatsoever then let me know in the description in the comment section down below I'm very happy to answer your questions and I'll leave a link at the top of the description if you would like to shop it so now that I am zapped the next part of my Sunday usually morning but today afternoon routine is to apply some <laughs> fake tan and um where did I put it ah here so when I was in London last week, I popped into the Space NK store on Marlebone High Street while I was um, waiting for the time for my hairdresser's appointment. I'll do a little haul with you. I picked up from a brand called Hello Sunday. This is an SPF 50 lip balm, so I thought that'd be fantastic for taking on holiday. I also picked up um, an eye, lash and brow peptide serum from The Ordinary. I have decided that I don't like to use these on my lashes because any time I do, it's given me such irritation that it's also made my eye bags look a lot worse. But I do like to pop eyebrow serum on in the evenings. I got this, oh no, I got that from Michael Van Clark. Um, I got the Orbe Dry Texturizing Hairspray. I'm hoping it might be quite similar to the one that I mentioned in my favorites. Is it Kristen S? Uh, where is it? Yeah, this one. Kristen S. Working Texture Spray that I absolutely love. And I'm hoping this Orbe one will be very similar and just a much better size for taking with me on holiday. And then I definitely won't be taking this with me because it's so blooming heavy. 
But this, I thought, I love the sound of the Tan Lux Super Glow Hyaluronic Self Tan Serum. I'm intrigued. It's colourless. Um, so, could be a good one for applying and wearing throughout the day. But, I mean, do I need to wear a mitt? Doesn't say. Four to eight pumps directly onto the skin, massaging in a circular motion. Colour builds with increased application. Oh, formulated with daily use. Not gonna lie, it was quite expensive for daily use. Vegan friendly, cruelty free, no streaks and no smells, apparently. <laughs> I shall report back. So I'm going to slather myself in this and then we're gonna head downstairs and make the beauty ball. Okay, fake tan update. It legitimately doesn't smell, which I'm very, very impressed by. And as you can see, I've put on my cream <laughs> um, jumper again because I really, I don't feel like it is going to transfer. So is it going to tan me? <laughs> that is going to be the question. Um, but yeah, it's sunk in really quickly and it doesn't smell. So, so far so good. Let's see if I wake up bronzed and golden. The only thing I would say is that the four to eight pump thing I presumed that on the bottle that meant per your entire body. I would say I used four to eight pumps per area. Um, so yeah, I did use quite a lot of product. But anyway, let's go downstairs and make my beauty bombs. Okay, so here are the ingredients for my beauty balls. I'll leave the blog post down below where I first explained the uh, method, but it's really very easy. I know it looks like I've got a ton of ingredients here, but actually, I'm just putting in loads of different nuts from the cupboard and you can really get quite experimentative. But what, you're, what you will need to have are some dates. So these are the nice juicy medjool dates, medjooli. Um, and I chose the ones without stones because it's just a little bit of a faff to take the stones out. So stoneless dates. I'm gonna whiz up a couple of packets in the thumb mix. First, you can use obviously any blender you've got at home. Um, I like to whiz up my dates first and then add the ingredients and blend again because I don't like my almonds and nuts to be wazzed up too small whereas you do want your dates to be quite blitzed so yeah that's my first little top tip I've topped up my um, tea bag for the third time today as well then you're definitely going to need something to combine all the ingredients together so you can use coconut oil or Chloe actually recently told me that she has used cashew butter or um, peanut butter to make her beauty balls or energy balls um, stick together so I'm going to try it with cashew butter because I think that sounds delicious and then you want to add in loads of nuts it doesn't matter if you've got one or two different types or as I've got here like six or seven different types my favorites are pistachio almonds and hazelnut but today I'm going to add in a, um, a scoopful by the way these quantities are not like laid out I'm just going to take a handful a small handful from there a small handful from there etc etc better to start off with less nuts and then when you look at your mixture you can always add more in afterwards uh, so based on what I saw in the what do you call it? Farm Girl Energy Balls. I'm going to add in some cashews, which I hadn't done in the past. I'm going to add in a sprinkling of sea salt. Now, my favourite thing to add to, to get a bit of sweetness is actually goji berries, but I don't have any at the moment, so I'm just going to add in some dried cranberries. I've also got some sunflower seeds. I'll add in a couple of spoonfuls of chia seeds. Um, what are they? What are they? Some kind of seed. Poppy seed? I don't know. I don't know what they are. Not quite as big as sunflowers. Oh, maybe these are pumpkin. I don't know. Various seeds. And then you can also add in, if you're a fan of um, beauty powders, this just, just can help you uh, get a little bit more goodness into your beauty balls. You could add in if you've got the wild protein powder. I have got, um, I'm saving that wild protein powder for my morning smoothies, so I'm going to add in some of the Beauty Chef's Glow Powder. This is a bio-fermented beauty food supplement with vitamins A, C, and zinc. So yes, I'll add in a couple of spoonfuls of that. And then it's just as simple as blending all the ingredients together, smushing into balls. I would say you want the balls to be smaller than a golf ball is ideal because even though it may not 
you may not think it, it is quite an intense flavour and you're only going to want one of these little balls and then you'll be quite satisfied so it's great if you just have a little craving for something yummy in the afternoon or mid-morning. Um, so yes, I'm going to get blitzing, get rolling and then I like to lay my balls out on a plate or on a baking tray in the fridge so that they harden all separated out and then once they've hardened in the fridge for about an hour I will put them in a Tupperware bowl and then store them in the fridge ready for snacking whenever I desire. After a bit of blending, this is how it's currently looking. This is roughly the kind of size of the seeds and the texture that you want to be going for. Now, my top tips here, your hands are going to get messy, so I would recommend taking off your rings and obviously give your hands a good wash before you dig in. And then I'm just gonna roll some balls out in my hands and place them all over the tray. This is then gonna go in the fridge for about an hour until they have hardened off. You're not going to be able to use your hands for anything while you're doing this, so I would recommend setting up a YouTube video to watch while you are um, bawling and then you are good to go. My darlings, it is now Monday morning. I'm doing my first ever attempt of heatless waves since I got my hair cut. So we shall see if having shorter hair impacts the um, the curl. Added these in when my hair was dry, so we shall see. We shall see, I'm still doing my practicing. So I apologize I didn't really finish vlogging properly last night. <laughs> still very much getting into the swing of things. But this morning, while I was Waking myself up, I put all of my little energy balls into the Tupperware. I actually ended up forgetting about them and leaving them on. Oh, I just dropped one <laughs> in this house. It's not the three second rule. It's the just check that it's not covered in dog hair rule. And that one looks safe to me, so I'll enjoy that. Um, yeah, ended up forgetting to take them off the pizza tray last night. So now that they have solidified overnight, I did notice that on the Farm Girl energy balls, they had coconut flour in the recipe which i didn't have and i think that maybe that just again helps with the solidifying of them because this is still a little bit a little bit sticky with it being mostly date but i'm so glad to have an entire tub full of my energy balls as a nice little nutritious snack so this morning usual monday morning started off with a reformer pilates class at bamford it was fantastic i felt really i felt strong in this morning's class which doesn't often happen but yeah it felt really good and then got some salads from the farm shop and then came home for a very interesting call we had a call with the zoe team zoe being the uh, personalized nutrition company founded by tim Spector and two other scientific ceos and it's all about you basically have to 
I'm not sure what the official name is, you know how some people that maybe are diabetic, they have these little patches on their arm that monitor your blood sugar levels. Well, if you order a Zoe kit, you get that, um, and then it just helps you to understand what kind of reaction your body has to certain types of food. So we had a call with the team there. Charlie has actually been on the waiting list for a Zoe kit for over a year and a half. <laughs> it's so funny, he keeps saying it's kind of winding him up a little bit that suddenly everyone knows about Tim Spector, especially after the Diary of a CEO podcast, and is like really interested in it, and he's like, I've been telling you guys about this for so, so long. But yeah, so we are gonna get Zoe kits in the next couple of weeks, and I will share my learnings with you. It could be that, you know, my sugar doesn't spike as much as I think it does when I have my morning coffee, although it definitely will, because I'm a two sugar kind of gal. But yeah, I think it'll be really interesting. But in my bid to try to cut down on a little bit of sugar, I have been swapping out my afternoon coffee for a herbal tea, as I've said a million times. And when I've been listening to podcasts and reading about habits, I think a really good way of getting yourself out of habit habits is not by going cold turkey, but by swapping something. So for me, by having a herbal tea that I can sip on and get the kind of warm and comforting vibes from that I would normally get from my afternoon coffee, I don't feel like I'm depriving myself because I just can't, I can't function on depri <laughs> deprivation. Um, these are our new cups from Nom Living. All of our cups, I think all of them are from Nom Living, which is such a lovely company and this is their, their new style, which we absolutely love. So I'm going to make myself a cup of tea um, actually I'm not because, oh my gosh, another podcast that I was listening to was all about uh, the importance of having more spices in our diet and how spices, again, are so good for our gut. Are you guys already really bored about me talking about gut health? Because I feel like it's something that I'm just newly obsessed with and anything that I'm obsessed with, I always share it with you, <laughs> whether it's gardening or macaroni and cheese or mince pies. And I had a lot of complaints, by the way, that there wasn't enough mince pie eating in this year's Vlogmas, so I'm sorry. I will rectify it immediately. Well, in December. <laughs> I'll rectify it in 12 months' time. Um, but yeah, so spices, it's so good for us to have lots of spices and importantly, good quality spices. So on that note, if any of you guys know of any websites where you can buy authentic, proper spices, because no doubt the stuff that we get in the supermarkets is okay, but I'm sure there are much better places to buy spices. Please let me know if you've got any recommendations. So I'm gonna try again making an at-home chai tea because it really, chai tea is, really is my absolute favorite. So instead of just sticking a tea bag in a cup, I think I probably have most of the ingredients to make an at-home chai tea. So let's give it a go and I can enjoy it with my energy balls, which by the way, Charlie said he wasn't gonna eat any, but he wasn't bothered by them. I think he's already eaten like nine of them. Okay, this is the recipe that I'm going to be trying out and I found it on the Instagram of a an account called Chief Spice Mama and the lady who runs the account was on a podcast. Um, it was actually, I think it was a Zoe podcast, a Zoe being the science and nutrition um, company I was telling you about earlier. So this is the immunity supporting spiced chai that she recommends. So we start off by gently smashing one tablespoon of sliced ginger. I picked up some ginger yesterday. And then five cardamom pods, one cinnamon stick. And this is what I mean where I'm just using like mass brands here, like Schwartz and Sainsbury's own. And I'm obviously not gonna let these go to waste, but as soon as these pots are empty, I definitely want to try and source some higher quality spices and I think that's really what is going to be a huge focus for us this year, just making sure that everything we eat is of the highest quality possible. Food is very important to fuel our bodies in the best way possible. So three to one, uh, where are we, one cinnamon stick, two star anise pods, three to four cloves and black peppercorns. Um, and it says to gently smash them together, so I guess I will do it in our pestle and mortar. Gosh, this weighs a ton. And then add the spices to a one and a half cups of water, bring to the boil, simmer. Ooh, black tea leaves. 
can I just tear open a tea bag? I think I might have to do that. And then add one cup of milk of choice. I might just do regular cow's milk. Again, I'm feeling like oat milk is um, potentially not that good for me. So making a few little changes just to see how my body reacts. Reduce heat and simmer for a minute. Okay, so I have got some chopping and some smashing to do. And then let's get it brewing. <laughs> question for you the recipe calls for two star anise pods is that the pod or is one of the wings coming off it a pod that is what I don't know I actually don't love the taste of star anise that much so I'm just gonna put in two of these little wings and hope that that is correct and now I just need to smash everything together and then we're gonna boil it <laughs> minutes now and the recipe calls for one to two teaspoons of black tea leaves now I don't actually know if English breakfast tea is the same as black tea I mean it is pretty dark <laughs> but there probably is a strong I was about to say stronger <laughs> there probably is a stronger version um, but this is what I have got it does say if you want a caffeine free version you can do rooibos tea which we do have as well but I'm gonna give this a go it gives it a bit of a flavor of English tea then I won't be mad at that so there we go this is just the what a surprise Delsford loose leaf tea and then oh, Alexa timer off uh, what is my next instruction dun 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 oh you can add in dried rose petals here I need to refresh my memory on how to if there is a specific way of drying them out in the garden because it would be so nice to add homemade dried rose petals Okay, so now we're just simmering to one to two minutes and then we're adding in a cup of a milk of choice. Apparently look terribly appetizing, but it does smell rather lovely. So I'm going to let this sit for one or two minutes and then strain it and we shall see. I shall report back as to whether this is tasty, but it definitely will be very, very good for my immune system. Okay, so I've strained it into a jug, which is not the most photogenic <laughs> presentation, but couldn't think what else to strain it into. And let's give this a go. It looks like a fairly weak English breakfast tea, but smells a lot better. And I've written down the instructions in my lovely book in case I want to make this again. So on that screenshot, it does say if you want it a little bit sweeter, you can add a teaspoon of uh, date, just date syrup, which I have actually ordered online. So maybe I can add that in next time. Mm. That is pretty spicy. Okay, definitely not the entire clove because even the bits of the clove that I added, I can very much taste in this. I feel like I could do a little bit more cinnamon next time and maybe even a little bit more tea, but that is very tasty and gingery. So hopefully will help to ward off any colds for the fluey season. <laughs> Okay, my darlings, nearly finished my chai latte. It is very delicious. I need to I need to warm up. I've got like this much left. So I'm gonna leave that on the Argo when I go downstairs. I thought I would take out the uh, the silk sausage. I think what I'm going to do, because I've got my, I think it's from Lily Silk, my gold one. 
I think I'm gonna leave it. This one's a little bit skinnier. I think I'm gonna leave this one in our bedroom and get into the habit of wrapping my hair before bed because while I'm doing it in the day like this, it's literally only in the silk sausage for maybe two or three hours. So that probably doesn't really help the longevity of the curls, but <laughs> let's see if it did work. Um, we also were doing a little bit of adjustment to my Amazon storefront and I've added my favorite silk hair kit to that. So I'll leave that linked down below and you can really explore from there all of my all of my Amazon favourites in one place. I've got all my book favourites, all of my like health and beauty favourites, like where I get my reusable cotton pads, um, a few fitness favourites. Okay, moment of truth. This is where I look like Elizabeth Swan's father in Pirates of the Caribbean. Still look a little bit like Rudolph, don't I? But it's getting better. Oh, I'm always so surprised with the amount of curl. Of course, remember my hair is shorter and the last time I tried this too. Is it the lighting or have... <laughs> is it the lighting or have I done my makeup really badly today? I think all of my skin is just in a bit of, bit of a state of stress at the moment after my laser, but never mind. I can't, I physically can't leave my hair without brushing it, so just using, oh, do you know what? I'll use my mega fine tooth comb that I got on Look Fantastic. It's almost too curly, <laughs> but as we know, these silk sausage curls do drop quite considerably. So now that, I mean, I'm not going anywhere this afternoon. I'm literally, <laughs> literally gonna be going to bed in a few hours, but it's nice to experiment and you're not damaging your hair. So why not, why not play about and get good at doing um, heatless curls? I also quite like when it's up in this, just get, gets my hair out of my face. So there we go. So you might be able to spot a couple of dresses behind me and I'm just having one of those afternoons where I'm just kind of getting loads of loads of those little errands, loads of little tasks done. And the dresses that are hung up behind me are there because, just felt like I needed a bit of lipstick top up. These dresses are here because I'm going to be sending those dresses over to by rotation. So that will be added to the collection of my dresses that you can actually rent and I think that after our trip that we're going on next week, very excited, I think I'm also going to list my, dun dun dun, my black Dior book tote. I think I'm gonna list this on By Rotation as well. If you have not heard of By Rotation, it's basically a wardrobe rental app. This is not an ad, <laughs> by the way. Feel the need to say that a little bit more lately because I noticed a couple of comments, um, not nasty comments, just passing comments in a couple of the last videos that um, youth, some people thought that the videos were filled with ads and someone said that everything that influencers ever mention, they are paid to mention. And I just want to categorically say that that is not true, <laughs> at least not on my channel and not on my friends' channels either. If we talk about a product, like I just talked about the silk hair sausage, I just applied a lipstick, I'm talking about by rotation. They're just brands that I love and how boring would these vlogs be if I just didn't didn't tell you about the things that I love? So yeah, don't think that. <laughs> Not everything that I talk about is sponsored in the slightest. Most brands that I talk about, especially when it comes to like home and luxury fashion, I've never worked with those brands, never had an email from them, never been gifted anything and also when it comes to hotel stays, like our upcoming holiday and like our trip to the Newt at New Year's Eve, we are fully paying customers for these holidays just because an influencer tags where they are doesn't mean that it has been given for free or that they are being paid to promote it. Even like local places, yes, I probably could message Soho Farmhouse and say, can I please have a free massage? But I would rather just support these businesses and pay <laughs> like a normal customer. So yeah, you will always be able to tell in the description box. Um, and I think what I'm gonna start doing again is putting ad on the screen when something is a paid partnership, just so it's super clear and also so that you guys can see that of an hour long vlog, there might be like seven minutes maximum that is 
an ad and that is literally how <laughs> us influencers earn our money, how we're able to provide hours and hours and hours of free content um, and then you can be confident in the fact that the rest of the video, <laughs> the remaining 53 minutes, is not an ad. So yes, glad I got that off my chest. But yes, what was I saying? So by rotation, wardrobe rental app, you can um, rent people's dresses or coats or fabulous outfits or designer handbags. You can even list your own stuff on there as well. So if you have a gorgeous dress, but you have worn it to death and every single one of your friendship groups has seen you in that dress a million times, firstly, there's nothing wrong with that. But secondly, if you did want to make a little bit of money from it, then you can list it on by rotation. So I feel that after this particular trip, Maybe I'll live to regret it, but obviously I can always just ask by rotation to send it back to me. I think I am going to list this bag on there. It was a very expensive bag. No, it wasn't gifted. <laughs> no, I wasn't paid by Dior, I wish, to show you this bag. I purchased it with no discount. <laughs> Every penny was my own money. Um, and I would like to see if I can earn some money back on it. So to me, it just makes sense to see if I can rent it out and yeah. By rotation is my chosen website to do so. And then when it comes to the dresses, I am going to list these three. So this lovely uh, satin sage green dress from Halfpenny is the brand of that one that I wore on Christmas day. I don't have any events coming up in the foreseeable future that I can see myself wearing that. Do you know what? I've just thought that would make the most fantastic bridesmaid dress, wouldn't it? It really would. So I'm going to list that one. This is the fabulous needle and thread dress that I wore um, for our... Do you remember that fabulous reel? I'll pop it on the screen here. I love the soundtrack to that reel. I think it's a Spanish, like, classical music soundtrack. I love it. And yeah, if you've got any fabulous events coming up, that would just be the most glorious gown. And I'm also listing the cape. It's like a matching cape, which is just so dramatic and wonderful. And then on the left, the bronze dress that I wore on my 30th birthday. It is a Costarella dress. It's truly sensational. The material is almost like liquid. It's just Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous and I also wore it to um, a Christmas party this year but again I don't foresee myself wearing it again in the foreseeable future you can either obviously in most circumstances you keep everything in your wardrobe for by rotation so you don't even need to say goodbye to it but one little perk that I do get with by rotation is that they actually manage my wardrobe for me so what that means is that I actually send them all of these pieces and they store them which actually means as a customer or as a renter you get a much more se uh, like seamless experience so yeah, that's how I choose to do my rotating. So I'll leave my by rotation profile link down below in case you would like to rent any of these pieces or see which of the other pieces in my wardrobe are available for rent. I think I've got quite a lot of Zimmerman dresses on there. In fact, I've just been getting a few dresses out that I'm definitely going to take on holiday with me. Are there any more? If you ever see anything in my wardrobe that you're like, oh my goodness, I would love to rent that, then let me know because I can always add it. Maybe I should list this Borgo Dinor dress. It's such a fabulous dress. Don't know if I've got any events coming up that I could wear that to. Ooh, yeah, I think maybe I should. I reckon that would be a huge hit. I'm just not sure if I'm willing to <laughs> say goodbye to it for a while just yet. Maybe after the next time that I wear it, I will um, rent it out. Some more lovely Zimmermans. Thierry Coulson, another Zimmerman. Hmm, yeah, let me know if you've got any rental requests. And then I've got out one of my favorite Leo Lynn dresses to wear on holiday, my gorgeous wiggy kit with the scalloped sleeves. This fabulous dress um, that always reminds me of the day that we boarded the Disney cruise, because this is what I was wearing on that day. And then my Alexandra Miro beach cover up. I'm going to have a little rummage through, through my swimwear. And that's going to be the next thing that I pack. Well now there is a very messy sight, but now that I've finished working for the day, I've come up here to do some packing. Will I do an entire vlog without mentioning the fact that we're going on holiday soon? Probably not, but we're, I mean, it's not, a, it's not until a week's time, but I know that I would just rather do it gradually 
can you tell I'm excited to go on holiday? <laughs> so I have done, to be honest, I've done the bits this evening that I dread doing, which include my skincare. I like to try and be as organized as possible when it comes to my holiday skincare. And something that I absolutely love to do is collect up all the little minis that you get in things like advent calendars or any little samples that I get. And they are just absolutely perfect for taking on a holiday. So my skin will be treated to lots of gorgeous bits from the likes of Oskia. I've got loads and loads of Oskia bits in here. I've got a little mini of the Kate Somerville Goat Milk um, Moisturising Cleanser. Kate Somerville Body Scrub. We've got some lovely night cream from Elizabeth Arden. Some little minis from Loxitan, Shantikai, Aurelia. So really lovely brands. I have made sure to have my usual products as well so we've got um i think it's up here excuse the mess one of my least favorite jobs is unpacking holiday toiletry bags and i just end up with so much stuff so i've got ooh, i'm gonna have to take a fresh one clay de po le serum yeah that is not even gonna last me the journey so i need to grab grab a new one of those because i cannot live <laughs> without it that's the most ridiculous thing i've ever said um and then of course after that i always put on a vitamin c serum so i've got my little oskia vitamin c capsules got another cleanser hand cream with spf 30. i found this hydrofacial uh lip balm which is spf 30. this little body oil came in my net porter calendar so that's coming along too got some lovely face oils here from oskia so yeah i feel very organized now that i've got all of my little beauty minis i'll be i'll be pampering myself for we're away for 11 days so hopefully i mean that that's probably about 11 days worth of night cream it's very light. I feel like I might have already started using it. So that's that. And everything is in my flat lay bag, which literally just crinkles down like a shower cap. Um, where we're staying, Charlie and I have been to this place before. And I seem to remember there's not that much space in the bathroom because the bathroom is like within the bedroom. You'll see. <laughs> You'll see. It's very cool. Um, but yeah, not much space for storage. So really helpful that I can just open this all out when I need to get my skincare out and then I can put it away again just really quickly, do up the do up the laces. So I think um I think I might have these on my Amazon page flat lay co. They're very, very useful. And then a little a little travelling tip. So I like to take a cool bag with me. If we're gonna spend the entire day on the beach or something, then we can put any snacks or drinks or sun creams in our cool bag. And because it's actually waterproof, it's really good for taking your liquids with you. So in here, I have got a fake tan because I like to top up my tan while I'm away because I will be wearing Factor 50 <laughs> the whole time. Um, I'm really conscious now of losing the color in my hair so i'm taking my weller color safe shampoo and conditioner set full size because again i'll probably end up showering and washing my hair every day so i probably do need full size super healthy skin from beauty pie that's actually the body polish and somewhere uh, possibly in here i've got the body lotion probably don't need to take another shampoo i'll take that one out Factor 50 from Clarins, Pure Essential. Again, you can get this on Amazon, it's amazing. Bite and Sting Repellent, Deodorant. I love wearing this on holiday. Joe loves Pomelo Fragrance. Uh, Ultra Sun Factor 50 Spray for the Face. This is good for a top up. Ultra Sun Factor 30 for the body. La Roche Factor uh, 50 for the body. And Factor 50 Spray for the face. And then this is just a nice little hair mist. Okay, what else do I need to take? Um, I can probably condense all of those liquids into this one bag. So while I've been busy sorting out my cosmetics for holiday, Charlie has been cooking a delicious smelling meal. What have you done, darling? It is a Riverford dish. Riverford? It is, yeah, it's a chicken jow frazy, which I've never done before. Essentially, you cook the entire curry in a roasting pan. Wow. So you add things as you go. Yeah. Um, the best way to do this would have been if I could have charred the chicken, but I didn't want to mm. make a mess with the, you know, okay. if you had the barbecue or something like that. Yeah. I did butcher the rice a little bit, but the curry smells amazing and does taste good. So 
And is this the is this the chili and garlic uh, broccoli as well? Yeah, I just did that as a side. That's not part of the recipe. Nice. But we have broccoli, and I just thought we needed something green. So Very nice. good. Well, it looks delicious. We've got an audience. Very vocal little wagging sausages. We're not a huge fan of Indian food. It's a bit too spicy for us. No, it gives us slightly runny tummies.